from the great outdoors. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your Cruise News for Monday, January 10th, 2022. Royal Caribbean has canceled cruises on four ships due to what it's calling COVID-related circumstances. Jewel of the Seas sailings are canceled from now through February 12th, and the ship is scheduled to restart on February 20th. Serenade of the Seas is canceled through March 5th and set to resume on April 26th after a dry dock. Symphony of the Seas has suspended service through January 22nd and is set to return on January 29th, while Vision of the Seas has not yet re-entered service since the 2020 shutdown. It was scheduled to restart later this month on January 24th. Its restart date has been pushed back to mid-February. Those who are booked on impacted cruises can choose between a 125% future cruise credit or just get a complete refund. And on Saturday, Carnival Cruise Line sent a letter to booked guests on yesterday's sailing on Carnival Legend, saying that the 14-night Panama Canal cruise has been shortened to a 10-night Caribbean cruise. In a letter to booked guests, Carnival said, given the rapidly evolving COVID-related circumstances around the world and in an abundance of caution, it'll be necessary to modify the itinerary of your cruise. The voyage will now operate as a 10-day cruise, returning to Baltimore four days early on Wednesday. Day, January 19th, 2022. Guests on board received a $300 onboard credit, a prorated refund of $245, and a 25% future cruise credit. And in a letter to book passengers with cruises set to sail between now and January 31st, Carnival Cruise Line not only reiterated the health and safety protocols currently in place, but took a moment to point out how well they are working. Carnival says that in December, the line carried 217,000 guests on their various ships across North America, and that the company did not encounter any serious guest cases on board that required medical attention. The letter also provided a link to passengers who want to cancel any sailings through January 31st. They could do so by contacting their travel agent or carnival.com. And cruise line stocks were up on Friday. Carnival Corporation up 3.9%, 21.90. Royal Caribbean up 4%, 81.02. And Norwegian up 4%, 22.20. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here in Green River, Wyoming, making my way back to Jacksonville, Florida. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.